The 11th Panzer Division was established on August 1, 1940, through the amalgamation of the 11th Schützen Brigade, the Panzer Regiment 15 extracted from the 5th Panzer Division, and elements of the 231st Infantry Division, 300th Infantry Division, and 209th Infantry Division. The majority of its personnel hailed from Silesia, Verkreis Dadi. The division's baptism of fire occurred during the invasion of Yugoslavia in April 1941. Advancing through Bulgaria, it reached Belgrade and played a pivotal role in the city's capture. Subsequently, the 11th Panzer Division was deployed to the Eastern Front as part of Army Group South. It distinguished itself in the Battle of Kiev and later participated in the grueling Battle of Moscow. Notably, during the Battle of Moscow, Soviet propaganda fabricated a story involving the division's encounter with Panfilov's 28 Guardsmen. Following the Soviet counteroffensive in December 1941, the division found itself engaged in a series of retreats and defensive actions. Its advance was eventually halted by the formidable resistance of the 316th Rifle Division and the 78th Rifle Division, compounded by harsh weather conditions prevailing in the region. The 11th Panzer Division played a significant role in Case Blue, the German summer offensive launched in June 1942. As part of this campaign, the division contributed to the capture of Voronezh and advance towards Stalingrad. Although it managed to avoid being encircled along with the 6th Army in the city, the division endured substantial losses during the harsh winter months of 1942-43. Initially designated for Operation Winter Storm, the German attempt to rescue the besieged 6th Army from encirclement, the 11th Panzer Division, as part of the 48th Panzer Corps, faced fierce resistance from the Soviet 5th Tank Army. This prevented the division from participating in the counteroffensive. During the defense of the Lower Cheer River, the 11th Panzer Division engaged in a series of intense tank battles in support of the besieged infantry of the 48th Panzer Corps. Upon detraining on December 7, 1942, the division's 15th Panzer Regiment swiftly moved northward to repel the advancing Soviet forces. In subsequent days, the division successfully enveloped a significant portion of the Soviet 1st Tank Corps, inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy. As the Soviet offensive intensified, the division faced fresh threats from the 5th Mechanized Corps and the 3rd Guards Cavalry Corps. Despite heavy losses, the 11th Panzer Division, under the command of General Balk, launched counterattacks to eliminate enemy bridgeheads over the Cheer River. On December 19, 1942, the division achieved a notable victory by destroying a substantial number of Soviet tanks without suffering any losses of its own. Subsequent engagements on December 21 saw the division confronting and defeating elements of the Soviet 5th Tank Army, albeit at the cost of heavy casualties. Following the failed relief attempt on Stalingrad, the 11th Panzer Division participated in the defense of Rostov, allowing German forces retreating from the Caucasus to escape. Throughout these intense battles, the division demonstrated resilience and determination in the face of formidable opposition. In Juli 1943, the 11th Panzer Division took part in the Pivotal Battle of Kursk, engaging in defensive operations and subsequent retreats following the German defeat. During these maneuvers, the division found itself ensnared in the Korsun Cherkasi pocket in February 1944, facing near total annihilation during the breakout from the encirclement. Subsequently, the division was withdrawn from the Eastern Front and redeployed to Bordeaux, France, where it received reinforcements from the 273rd Reserve Panzer Division. After being stationed in the Toulouse region, the division was relocated to a sector along the Rhône River in July 1944. As Allied forces launched the invasion of southern France in August 1944, the division conducted a strategic withdrawal through the Rhône Corridor, eventually reaching Besançon. Later, it saw action in Alsace, contributing to the defense of the Belfort Gap and participating in the Battle of Aracourt before regrouping in the Saar region. 
In December 1944, the division operated as part of Army Group G. While the 11th Panzer Division did not participate in the initial stages of the Battle of the Bulge, it entered combat in the Saarland and Moselle regions afterward, deploying with three 1,500 personnel, including 800 infantry. Despite deploying 25 tanks and 18 guns that remained in its arsenal, the division faced expulsion from the region by advancing U.S. forces following the failure of the German offensive. Subsequently, the division shifted to the southern sector of the front, finding itself stationed in and surrounded in the Ruhr region. It embarked on a southeastward retreat, ultimately surrendering to U.S. forces in the vicinity of Passau on May 2, 1945. Some remnants of the division, under the command of General Wend von Wiedersheim, capitulated to the U.S. 90th Infantry Division in the Czech town of Cheruby on May 4, 1945. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal in the description box below.